Welcome to this evening's evening prayer. I hope you're all well. And today will be a simple version of evening prayer, focusing particularly on the nations and the meeting of the G7. Praying for the world and for the problems we face as we move forward together. Let us have a moment of quiet to hold the world and the areas of trouble in our minds before God. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary. And bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. that this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Tonight's reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Ephesians beginning at the third chapter at the 14th verse. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations 
forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let us take some time to pray and intercede with thanksgiving and making our request to God, especially remembering our leaders and the nations of the world as we pray for peace in our world, in the world that God gave us. We pray for the dignity of every human being and we remember that they are created in God's image. Gracious God, we pray for peace, justice and reconciliation throughout the world. We pray for the honouring of human rights and for the relief of the oppressed. We give you thanks for all that is gracious in the lives of men, women and children all over the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the nations, especially those who have been at the G7 conference. We pray that the decisions that they made and the promises that they have made are stuck to. That wisdom, compassion and dignity for all is at the forefront of their minds. We come with sorrow to you for the times that we have damaged your world. And we pray that climate change may be taken seriously and stewardship of your world be a priority. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember that the nations of the G7 are fortunate. We remember those countries and nations that do not have a place at the table, that do not have a voice. And especially as we continue to fight the COVID-19 pandemic, we pray for those countries disproportionately affected. Every death is a tragedy. Let us not forget anyone. And we pray that the commitment to give vaccines for all is upheld. Not as a opportunity to boast, but because it's the right thing to do. We pray for countries around the world whose health care systems are struggling or have been broken as a result of the COVID-19 outbreaks. We pray for wisdom for the leaders of every nation, particularly those with financial stability. To actively care for those who are 
less fortunate. Let healthcare be a priority for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, let the conversations that have happened over the past few days be fruitful, meaningful and truthful. Let your seeds of grace have been sown so that all people realise we have a part to play in seeing your kingdom come here on earth. No matter what small acts we can do, we also have a responsibility to help those less fortunate. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Dear Lord, we pray that you bring wisdom and grace to the forefront of all the world leaders' minds, no matter where they are. And let them understand that they are serving their people your people and it shouldn't be about their glory lord in your mercy hear us our prayer finally lord we pray for those who are in need for the sick the sorrowful and the bereaved we pray for all who bring comfort, care and healing. We give thanks for human love and friendship and for all that enrich our daily lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. And as we end this time of prayer, let us unite all our prayers, said and unsaid, in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us therefore finish with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forevermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord.